Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Out of Awe. So, I wanted to start off this episode with an apology about last episode, the time lapse. Um, I did have everything ready to go. All the time lapse was done. The music was there. The pictures were there. It turned into a little video montage. Um, and as I've finished editing, started rendering, I think I've removed one of the pictures from the file to use as a thumbnail, and then it stuffed up the whole time lapse. So, um, I'm going to try and do it again, so I'm going to cure time lapse right now. If it doesn't work this time again, then I'm going to cancel the time lapses and kick myself in the butt. But um, we'll give it a go, another go now with another time lapse. Hopefully it works, and I'll see you guys just after. Right here, guys. Well, fingers crossed that worked. Um, so I did. We dug out that side. We've dug out this side a little bit now. From what I've heard, at this point in time, actually, I wanted to keep those there for now. Um, at this point in time, the dump truck's having an issue. While watching Split into Gaming, which hopefully some of you guys have gone over and already checked out his content, um, he's so, sort of digging. I think he might be up here somewhere. Yeah, he's up there because there's the tree. He's up there somewhere. And so he's digging here and then he's driving to the wash plant and then when he gets there he loses all the rocks out of the back of the dump truck or even more than half the rocks out of the dump truck. So I believe there's a bit of an issue with that at the moment. Now, my plan is to come down here. This is pay dirt down here, I believe. So I'm thinking we're going to have to run a huge conveyor belt down there. Um, and I said I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it realistic. But unfortunately... Um, realistic isn't an option at this point in time so what I want to start off with is a uh, conveyor chute um, and work out how I'm gonna go with this guy can we can you put it anywhere if you've got to you've got to have it attached to something uh, I think that's why I was getting rid of these guys so if I get rid of those uh, come back in here go buy buildings production Ah, uh, conveyor straight. I'm going to need like a ton of those. Let's grab 10. Ah, uh, conveyor up. I'm going to need at least one of those. Let's get bank check out. Uh, number four. Can I... I can't attach to there. So I'm going to have to remove that one for now. 
I put that there, that there, that there. Remove that. Go with this guy. And then go with this guy there, I think. That'll drop that straight into there. I think that will work well. And then if I get rid of this, put that back in there. Yeah, that'll drop the dirt straight into that. So now if we go uh, this guy and just run a huge conveyor belt. As I said, I didn't want to do this because it, it's not realistic. Um, and yeah, but I think we're going to have to, to be honest. Alright, let's go buy... I wish it would stay in the last thing you looked at. Uh, let's go convey it down. Another five more of you. See how that goes. We need to go down. Didn't I go convey it down? Do, do, production. Convey it down. Maybe not. Why are they up and not down? Uh, five, four. Don't know what's going on there. They should be conveyor down. Why are you going up? Uh, I don't know why that's going up. It should be going down. Or am I that can't be right. Let's go pro building production. Let's go conveyor up then. Maybe I do need to go with a conveyor up. Yeah, I do. You dickhead. You need to go with conveyor up. Alright, that'll do. Bring that, because we're actually going... We're not going... We're going backwards. So, let's grab these and go... Sell. Buy. Buildings. Production. Conveyor. Up. Times two. Uh, let's go... We need a... Straight, maybe not another five, and maybe a hopper as well. Let's go six. Actually, do I want to go down now? Yeah, let's go down now. There, I want to sort of make sure we get right down in there. Uh, what Where's me, um, conveyor straight, conveyor hopper, there we go. Um, is that, is that going to be okay? I think it'll be okay. We still should be able to tip in there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go buildings, concrete, and we'll grab uh, four of you guys. Uh, number two, can we put that? I want to put it underneath, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to... There we go. Get underneath there like that. Like that. Like that. And then if we go... With these guys. If you... Get up, let me... Do it somewhere. There. And then attach that there. And that should... Give us a little bit of a ramp if we need it to go into there. Now, these things look terrible without any support. Not that it's going to make it look any better, to be honest. It still looks highly unrealistic and pretty wacky, but at least if we do this, it'll look a bit better. Oh, wrong button. Q. One. Oh, Q again. One. That done. All right. Throw maybe like another one in there. And then another one in here. I mean, it's not it makes it doesn't make any difference at all for the game, but just cosmetically, it's going to look 
a little bit more realistic. Realistically unrealistic. That's how it's going to look. Right, and then that should all just flow straight down now. Right, that there. Done. Yeah, and that should all flow into there, and that should go from there into that hopper and into there. So the reason why I didn't just go straight into here is because I still want to be able to um, get dirt and stuff from up here as well. So let's go down and see. Let's throw our first bucket in, and we'll have to come back and see if the dirt's actually going in properly. I think if we go up another one, Maybe too long. Alright, we probably should have brought the roller down here to give us a nice smooth ramp down the pay, but it's fine. So I sort of want to just go that way and then just hit that other bench. And the hardest part also is trying to keep it reasonably level. Alright, so let's zoom out. Can I actually dig it? That that was the other question I was having. I didn't know if I'd actually be able to dig it or not. Um, right, let's jump out of this guy. I think I'm going to need to blast it. Uh, let's go explosives. Need a detonator. So what's info? Six meter radius. Yeah, let's go like 25 of you. It's not that expensive. So let's start. Pretty much here, so six meters. I don't know how far that's going to be, but so three, four, five. Go all the way back. So if I jump and run, then it stops me from going any further, which means they're all spaced evenly, which is good. Right, let's go back to the start, and then I don't know if they're one by ones. Or not. Uh, I guess we'll go about there. About there as well. Probably going to need more explosives than this, but I'm pretty sure this is pay dirt. Is this pay dirt or is this rock? It looks like pay dirt to me, but it could be rock. It might not even be sort of right thing. Right, let's go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11. Let's go with 11 more info. And run that down. So if it's going to be blasted rock and stuff, we may need to put in like a fractioner and all that other sort of stuff. But I thought it was pay dirt down here, but may not be. Alright, let's come back over here, set this up. Beautiful. I didn't expect it to go off as soon as I threw it on the ground, but it did. So it must be rock. So that must be blasted rock now. So if we look at our um, building's production so into here goes blaster rock, out goes crushed rock, crushed rock gravel. But I think if we go blasted rock goes in, everything else comes out. Uh, where's our conveyor sorter? So input everything. Dirt and pay dirt comes out the bottom. Okay, so maybe we need to do it up here. So dirt and pay dirt comes out the bottom. So that's fine for up here, but we need to get this, um, the fractioner in, I think. Somewhere. So that goes that way to the wash plant and then into there. But if you look at so production fractioner 
Input crushed rock. Oh, so we need it needs to be crushed. So that needs to go in too. So if we buy both of those, uh, let's get that out of there for now. So the jaw crusher. I don't even know how this thing works. So what I'm going to need to do is get rid of that, I think, and go buy buildings production conveyor up. We'll grab two, maybe. Uh, let's actually... Is there anything in there? No, let's grab that away. So that's got to go up. Got to go up again. That goes down from there. That'll come back out of there into this guy. And that can go into storage. I think. Alright, so if we look at this again, we'll go buy uh, buildings production. So the fractioner needs crushed rock to go into here. So gravel, magnetite, copper, epoxide, rhodium. Um, cone crusher takes crushed rock into gravel, which I think that turns out into gravel. So that cone crusher's gone. Blaster rock gets turned into crushed rock, which goes into there. Um, Convey a sorter. Everything. So, what happens if with the stuff that we? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, I guess we'll go down to this loader and find out. Can I dig it now? We can't. Good. So I want to keep it that same level, which is going to be probably hard as well. I actually need to put the back on this thing as well, so we don't end up throwing it over the back of it. Alright, so let's do that while we're here. Let's go buildings. Uh, no concrete. Need a block. We need a roof times four. Actually, we need a block times three, I think. They should all be blocks. Alright, so we need to go three, four, and then grab this guy. Three, four, and then I think we wanted one there, didn't we? Uh, it's gonna make it hard, I think. Right, get rid of that. Was it there or was it this corner? I think that corner is where we needed it. Yep, that works. Alright. So as I said, I want to try and keep it level. I don't want to dig... Be digging too far down or anything. I don't know if crushed rock and gravel is even worth anything, to be honest. Let's have a look. Let's go buy uh, materials. So blasted rock's worth 32, crushed rock, gravel's worth the most. So that should all be turned into gravel, I think. So if we just do this like, straight long strip... Should be right, and I think it must go six meters deep as well, so we could probably go a little bit deeper if we want to. Oop, missing some at the front there. We need to bring our um, roller down as well, obviously, just to make sure this stays smooth for us. So I don't mind if we dig down a bit deeper. I 
just don't want to go too deep. I guess now let's dump this in like this. Go to this. Yeah, see it's working. Rocks are coming out there. Um, do we need... We may need... Uh, concrete. We may need some stuff at the front here. Let me just go ten of these. And we probably only need one of you. So I think... If we put that there, that there, that there, and then this guy... Goes there like that, and then it won't fall out, fingers crossed. Alright, so let's go and have a look. We should still be getting dirt in there, if there is any. Six, let's take that out, actually. Uh, might as well sell it, not that it gives, it gives us much money. So we've got gravel, magnetite, lithium, and bauxite. So we've got some stuff down in there, it's really good. Um, so once again... That's getting crushed from blasted rock to crushed rock, and then it goes from crushed rock to gravel. So if we look at um, 8k, 1.7, 1.7, So not massive income, I don't think. But still, it's it's going to mean that we're um, we're getting other ores as well as just coal now. Down here, so we're obviously gonna have to blast that whole bench. Put in like a massive blast. Let's try and run like a little road down here. Not sure how well this is gonna go. Should go okay, I think. I've done it on those other that other bench off to the side there, but yeah, so that looks that looks like pay dirt to me, but it's obviously not. It's just rock. Will this actually? Yeah, that'll smooth that out. I didn't think it would actually smooth the rock out, but so I was hoping to use um, like a truck and an excavator to take it up to our wash plant. I mean, this is our next option. It's not realistic. It's not ideal, but if it's what we have to do. I guess, and that's what we have to do. Sort of work within the limits of the game in its current state. Right, let's bring this guy down. Out of the way. So yeah, six metres would probably... I think if the blocks are... Blocks might be a metre by a metre. Not 100% sure. may have to test that out, put down some um, explosives, oops, put down some explosives, put down six blocks and then put down an explosive next to that, and see if it's a metre by a metre. Right, luckily we can still reach and get those rocks in. Yeah, we should. So we're even digging part of the dirt we haven't even blasted yet. I'm assuming just the blast has softened that edge a little bit. Wasn't sh wasn't too sure whether it'll leave it solid. We can't dig into it at all or not. But so I don't know if the bauxite, because obviously before the lithium and the bauxite, you could pretty much see it in the ground. Maybe it's now just part of. Um, the rock, the rock layer. We're already having those issues that were happening with the dirt before. Yeah, so maybe it's now it's part of the, the rock layer and we don't actually visually see it like we used to, which I think is a pretty good improvement. Because before we would just, you know, see a big vein somewhere and be like, yeah, let's just go and attack that, work out what it is. If it wasn't something we wanted, we wouldn't worry about it. Just leave it behind. Whereas now we just got to blast the spot, 
dig it out and just sort of go from there. Right, so yeah, I don't want to go any deeper than this because obviously we're having those issues with the little ledge above not not coming out. I need to start using this park brake so I don't roll back too much. Give it a little bit of a wiggle just to get everything out. Yeah, so as I said, I want to go all the way back to that other bench just there, but I don't want to go too far back. Because I still want to use the excavator in the truck, like that's the whole point of playing out of ball. You know, you want it to be as realistic as possible. I mean, if this is a, a, a rock quarry, I don't know if they use loaders and excavators in a rock quarry, but with us, like in the mining game, in coal mining, we only... Well, I'd say 99% of our loaders only ever load coal. Um, there's the odd time where we'll have a loader loading out rock, but it's not very, not very common. Right, so some people have said as well that they feel like the loader's massively underpowered compared to before. I don't know if he's nerf the load of power or if he's just made the dirt and rock maybe a bit harder to to bite into so I, I can't say if it's actually underpowered or not but it's certainly um, not biting in as good as it used to especially with it having teeth on the front of the bucket I thought it might um, bite in a little bit better but It's still, still going all right. As all I do is I just, um, I just either lift the bucket up or down or tilt it backwards and forwards a little bit more when it sort of hits a, a hard spot. Just hoping that would fix it a little bit. So you can see some of those rocks as well that are landing on the ground are just completely disappearing, which is not a bad thing, but not a good thing as well. At least we're not having rough spots in the ground, but. gouging out the side of the mountain there. Still want to get a dozer on that as well. Obviously, I think it was about 1.7 million for a dumper and an excavator. And then the dozer's like another mil and a half or something. So we're going to have to just... Keep digging, keep saving. Fingers crossed, keep doing time lapses if I didn't ruin this last one. See, so that still seems like it's, um, it's blasted down. So six metre radius should be, obviously, a circle radius for each blast. So it's blasted down quite a way. But I'm happy just to use, you know, the cheaper explosives for now. And then later on, maybe we can expand and start using some of the uh, more expensive explosives for bigger radius. But you know, that seems to have worked pretty well. I don't know if it's pay dirt in there as well. I don't think we'll get pay dirt down at this level. I think it would just be rock. The, the, the rock the textures still look different. Like you can see that's been blasted, but then back here it looks like it's solid rock again. So I'm not really sure. Right, let's change over. Let me have a bit of a look. I want to sort of straighten this straighten this out a little bit. Not that it matters. Just makes it hard too because it doesn't want to gouge it. So as far as time lapse goes, like I can I can have the camera set here 
where I am and I can manually time lapse it recording the same way I'm recording and talking or I can use um, an in-game time lapse feature which is sort of just still photos every now and then so you guys let me know what you think like the only problem with time lapsing like this having the camera in one spot like it's it'll be five five times speed or whatever it may be but then if I go to move the camera I just don't want to make you guys motion sick <laughs> having the bloody camera move like crazy but I said I usually find one spot like this and then I can just sort of dig from there from this camera view and not even have to change it at all so you guys let me know would you prefer to see live digging like this or you prefer to me to leave it as the in-game time lapse I'm happy to do it either way, but um, definitely want your guys' input as to what you prefer. I think the plan the plan for me really is obviously um, I've got a young family at home. I work full time. If I can get an hour just to sit down and and record while the family is home, you know I can record like this just doing a time lapse. You know it's it's hard to record voiceover and talk the whole way through when you know the whole family's home and stuff so being able to time lapse is a possibility when the whole fam's home I think we're getting through to the bottom of the blast now so that's fairly deep in there I don't know if I've gone too deep. We sort of want to square it up to that back wall. Comes an auto save. These are way better than they used to be. It'll be like a split second. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just keep digging straight through to this back wall. See, they've sort of hit a hard spot, so I sort of just tilt the bucket, lift the bucket dig through to that back wall and then we'll go and see what spoils we've got. We're definitely down at the bottom of the six metres there, which is good. And I don't want to set up a massive blast, you know, heading back that way, the whole way along that bench. I pretty much have this as a temporary pit floor. You know, at some stage we'll, depending on future updates whether we have to start a new map every time there's a decent update or not we can keep this sort of this mine going for as long as possible well, we're just about I think another one from that right side and then just tidy up that left a little bit I think that'll do Yeah, I'm still hoping that they either brings back like a manual dirt lock or he changes the way the dirt physics are. But, um, yeah, it's up to the developer, I suppose, what they want to do. I think um, I've mentioned it a hundred times before, but the way that the construction simulator dirt physics are, they're bloody awesome. I'd much rather it be like that than have it the popcorn physics. I don't mind having yeah, the odd couple of bits of popcorn obviously because it's rock it's not going to be powder if you guys seen some of the rocks that we load out at work you know you think these loaders look big well, when you have a rock the size of this loader getting loaded out into your truck you kind of are like holy shit you know we've got rocks the size of cars and little trucks getting loaded into some of our, our big trucks at times it's crazy I don't know whether that's the blast didn't go well or they didn't use enough explosives or the rock was just harder than they expected but yeah, sometimes there's some pardon me, massive rocks like 50, 60 tonne plus rocks coming in the back of some of our trucks it's crazy right let's move over to this wheel loader quickly it will just give ourselves a quick tidy up through there. Yeah, that's not quite straight, but straight enough for me. That'll do. 
So I think that little brown patch that we just ran over then that's now disappeared is back to what that colour is, so it's down six metres. I'd need a dozer with a GPS to actually check. As I said, I'm hoping the GPS thing with the dozers, they do a fair bit of work with that too, because I'd like to be able to have it set to whatever level this is, so whether it's like minus 50 relative level, we sort of want to just keep digging to that level have it completely flat. You know, that's what I sort of want to do. Be able to use the dozer and push off to that level. Right, let's jump out of this guy. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like one here and one here or something. So only like a row of two. Maybe even turn into a row of one, because it's not quite straight, obviously. And then just blast this whole section. And hopefully that'll give us a heap more dirt. We can mine. Oh, I can't get up there. Alright, let's run back and see what riches we've got. I mean, that... It's extremely un unrealistic. But, I guess it works. fuel tank. Not realistic. Oop. That's where our dirt drops in, obviously. Don't think any more would have fallen off, so it should be alright. Trommel. Up to the jaw crusher. Which I don't even know if we've actually seen that in action and then into the storage. So let's check over here. Nothing. So there's absolutely no pay dirt down there at all. Pay dirt's only this level. Um, let's have a look. So we've got just gravel. Some magnetite. Some lithium, some bauxite, copper, and some rhodium. A hundred thousand bucks worth. That's pretty good. I think we we're four fifty when we started. So you know, another another blast that same width, and um, I think we'll be good. Get another hundred grand back, and then obviously if we blast all the way down there, then I eventually want to start digging into that that face so blast along that along that bench so keep that as our next level so we just take it down here then maybe the excavator and truck can do that next level and then you know we'll just work our way back I think that's sort of the way I want to go but rightio guys we'll, we'll leave it here hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode hopefully that goddamn time lapse worked if not I won't do that again but um, if you guys have been enjoying it, smash the like button, or leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series, if you want to see some more, and if you've got any ideas, suggestions. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. I've been Bruno, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.